Wonderful news of salvation. That God so loved this world. He sent his begotten son. That was to have our permission, he will not to be perished. But have our everlasting life. We are people of Hong Kong. We get your soul. We are here to you. Remind you about the love of God in Jesus Christ who paid the price for you and my sin and went to the cross by taking you and my transgression. He is the Lamb of God who was crucified and killed that we have a hope. But Jesus Christ, who put his glory in the heaven, took a flesh, the born on the earth, the only died for the cross in the grave for you and my justification. That's why we are here to remind you that today is the day of grace. Today is the day of mercy. You may ask me, okay, Jesus died. So what what a connection uh, between me and him. It's a, a worry, worry for the connection because the Bible says that we all born in sin. We all are sinners. And a punishment for sin is death. But then seeking upon God, Christ Himself made the price because God is holy. He cannot, He cannot close His eyes when we see because sin should be punished, but He did to punish us. He said He is begotten Son. But we must to repent because God is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He commands all men on the earth to repent. And believe in the gospel and we are here to remind you that God loves you but we must to repent and change the lifestyle so if you were a chain with a cross even birds singing today and they are praising God even birds praise God who created heaven and the earth and everything and us as a human being by his image and likeness. What about you, dear souls, dear people? And he talked about the life of the God who created heaven and the earth and who made the price for your my sin. When he, Jesus, Yeshua, quit his glory in the heaven and obeyed. Father's command took a flesh and born on the earth and went to the cross for you and for me. He who took your and my transgressions and paid the price of the Lamb of God who was the slaughterer for you and for me and was crucified for you and for me. He who is the Lamb of God, the Son of today when he commands all men on the earth to repent and believe in the gospel and we are here to remind you gospel that God so loved this world God so loved this world he sent his begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not be perished but have an everlasting life and we are here to proclaim that she is the Lord and only the way to be saved. And whosoever you are, Jewish, Muslim, Buddhist, Christian, only Jesus Christ is the Lord and the way to salvation. And God loves you. But we need to repent and change our lifestyle because we all want to save. And unfortunately, we live in sin. But the Christ granted salvation. 
And he, who forgave the sins, but we need to confess. We need to admit our sin and come to the Lord. When we humble ourselves and crouch our proudness, when we could see the light of God, and in the light of God, we could see ourselves. To receive mercy of God, mercy of repentance. We all need to repent. We all are sinners. As the Bible says, because one day we are going to stand in front of God to respond for our life. Maybe you are a brave person. Maybe you are a good person. Maybe. But Bible says that we cannot. We cannot defend ourselves. A couple of stories from Bible. Bible is a book about God and His begotten Son. Bible speaks about us as sinners and a punishment, but also the Bible guides us to the Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, promised the Messiah of Israel, Savior of the world, the seed of the woman. The Bible speaks about a way how to be saved. And have you thought about your life? Have you thought? Start to think, because even today you are alive terminate. But Christ is our righteousness. If you die in Jesus, You'll live for Abba. But if you die without Jesus, you are. You die for Abba. And why? Your life is wasted. But then you heard about Noah. Noah. A couple thousand years ago when God decided to punish the first world by sending a flood, he just know and his family and told Noah to start to build a ship. Even people of this ancient time, you know about the rain industry, it was totally different on the earth. And he was building the sheep for many years, for hundred years, and for few days, were asking him, No, what are you doing? And he told them that God will destroy for you. And sure, they did not believe, unfortunately, because the Bible also states that only eight people were saved Noah, his wife, his uh, three uh, daughters, and uh, their husband. That's it. So people did not believe, and they all died. Now, if we go to confer, to our life today, something changed? Yes. If I may ask you a question, stealing is good or not good? We all know that stealing is not good. The same the lie. Lie is not good too. But I have another question. What do you think about a homo homosexual relationship? Yes, we all free to make decisions. We all free. You can do whatever you want, but you need to know, we all need to know that we all respond. In front of God one day, and I wanna, I wanna, I wanna tell you what what God says, and what God says that homosexual relationship is abomination, and it's a sin to that. And I, I respect you, and I love you as a human being, but I need to tell you what the Bible says. I do not judge you, but we have a word of God which judges. I am able to see. Different sins, but the sin is a sin. But God forgave my sins. But He gave me faith to believe upon His holy name. And He wants to forgive you. And I'm not better than you. I'm here just to remind you that God loves you. But the sin will be punished. But I already mentioned it. And I will mention again that God so loved this world, He sent His begotten Son. That whosoever believes in him will not to be perished. Have you heard it? Will not to be perished, but what? But have an everlasting life. That's why we rejoice today. Even life is not easy. Even when we cry a lot. Even this quarantine, coronavirus, whatever. We know that God rules and he is the king of kings and will. What he decides according to his holy will. But today is the day of grace. Today is the day of mercy. We could come and repent. And God will forgive our sins. Any sin, any sin, any sin. God will forgive. And will give a power of a Holy, Holy Spirit that helps us, that will help you to be changed. That you could see differently. Look around. I'm preaching 
in the many cities and the many states of our beautiful America. But you feel my accent. I came from Russia. But I love this country very much. I love it. And I pray every day for the United States. Praise God. But my prayer is that God will give you mercy that America repent again. America must repent. It's a good, I love Mr. Trump, I love him, and it's maybe a good statement, make America great again, but, but, the statement should be, bring America repentance again, repentance again to humble our nation before the God who will judge this country, unfortunately, America will be judged, and all the buildings, small, big, Everything going to fall. Everything going to go under fire. The judgment of God. The judgment of God. The judgment of God. Run for your life. Run for your life. The judgment of God. Run for your souls. Run to the Christ. Climb to the Calvary. Accept the love of God and repent of your sins. Because it's the end times. And until you're still alive, you have a hope. Do not wait. Because your souls are very worried. Maybe we are here for you. Just for one soul. Just for one soul. Maybe for you. Maybe for you. Maybe today for you. That God touches your heart. My Holy Spirit. Giving you mercy that you could open your heart and repent. To receive it, this gift of the Lord, the gift of repentance, mercy of repentance. Maybe it's you, but remember, the Lord loves you very much. And until you're still alive, you'll have a hope. But when you die, when you die, it's going to be finished. Is it worthy? Is it worthy to have everything? Everything. For example, if you have a lot of houses, Salvation, you may ask him, from what? Salvation you need from eternal death. Because sin, we born all in sin, and sin even one and us to be saved from hell. That's why you need to be saved. Maybe you think you live in a good area and you are saved to earth. Or maybe you have a passport like we always as the Russian streets about American passports. But not American passport could make you free and safe. No Israeli passport as well, or any passport. But only Christ could make you free. The Son of God could make you free. And in Him, He is our If you go to hide and the star, you'll be free and safe in Christ Jesus. Yes. The brother says, the son will set free, you will be free indeed. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Amen. If you need a Bible, if you need a prayer, if you are here, we all pray for you. If you need a, if you need anything, if you have a question, we are here. You see this pain, and I ask you, Father, I ask you, in Jesus' name, you create a miracle. You heal, Lord. You heal this woman. You see the pain of the woman. Bring it to you, Lord. We ask in your name.
grieve. We ask for this pain to leave her, for this illness to leave her, Lord. And if it is your will, work in her life and her heart. Work in, for your glory, God. For your glory only. Bless in your name forever and ever. Amen. Заканчиваем евангелизацию. Слава Богу, прошло очень хорошо. Скажем, правда, наверное, я, я, я не знаю, где у нас свобода будет, но Сарасот там, океан тоже. Так что мы можем опять выйдем в районе Санкт-Петербурга. Это штат Флорида, есть тоже такой город. И а, в районе Сарасот. Ну, здесь уже заканчиваем. Благодарим за то, что вы молились. Благослови Господь. Да.